<laughs> if you're in the Cascador channel, remember to thank Stuart for this godsend gift. And I can't stress it enough, I was told this is not an official one. Hey guys, this is the add-on that you must have for Cascador. It's a Pulse library and it has so many use cases. So let's start with just showing you how it works. So to make an animation loop, you would always need this last frame and the first frame to be the same, right? And you also would need a new animation that's going to be a derivative from that to have the same pose. And however you do it, it's going to be a workaround and everything, but it's just going to make it so much easier for you. So the way it works is basically that you go in and let's say this is the returning pose when we're going to have a walk cycle, right? We select all the box colliders here and we take box collider export and then we export it. Just call it whatever you want uh, and make a nice placement for it. And then let's say that we want the last pose to be exactly the same so what i do is that i just create some frames here right and then on this i select all the box colliders again i import it and you have the exact same same po same pose and what i just do is that i go into shadow mode select this one and then you just align it up to the placement like this and then you can see the pose aligns perfectly, which means it will loop perfectly. And this you can have all the poses that you want. So like I have more poses in here. Uh, we can import it. Let's this one. Here we have idle crouch mode for a gun and so on. Right. You can have how many you want. Just make your own library, right? And this means that I can make everything loop or derive from that animation. Now I can make a new animation from Crouch, right? Okay, so what you're going to do is that you're going to be right clicking Cascador, go to properties, then you will find the target and just go to open file location, pretty easy. Then you want to find, this is a messy folder, but in your folder you will have less. Go to resources, then we're going to go to script and then python and commands and then you can just add them into here like this and you're done so what we're going to do next is that when we open this one we're just going to close it don't save uh, in my case then when we reopen it it should be in there all done And then you should have them right there. And that's about it. Okay. If you're in the Cascador channel, remember to thank Stuart for this godsend gift. And I can't stress it enough. I was told this is not an official one. This is an add-on for the community. Enjoy it.